Good day, um, I introduce myself, uh, I'm Dennis Carrison. Our family bought the Duloff Wine Estate in 2003. Uh, it's situated just outside Wellington in the uh, wine Cape Lands and um, we've got a quite exciting story to tell about our wines. In 2003 we uh, started making plans to put a winery in, uh, to make our own wines and in 2005, just in time for the harvest actually, we managed to get um, the, the winery finished. In our first harvest in 2005, we got a state status granted to Dudolf immediately, which was very good. At that time, we launched our Signatures of Dudolf range. Uh, this is because we have excellent varietals on the farm. We have the five um, uh, Bordeaux varietals, uh, the classics, we have the Rhone Valley uh, varietals, and we have, of course, Pinotage, which is a very special uh, wine to South Africa. The farm itself is about 40 hectares under vine um, at the present time. 80% are red grapes and red wine, and the other 20, of course, is white. Our signatures range became very successful, and we uh, won quite a few awards and medals with that range, and that gave us a lot of confidence. So with a good harvest in 2007, uh, we decided that we would uh, look at uh, making a, a premier red blend for the very first time. Duloff itself means labyrinth, and it's called Duloff uh, 300 years ago because people trying to come into the hinterland, the first settlers, got lost and couldn't find their way through and had to basically turn back and go back towards Cape Town. So it's become a motive for us, um, the labyrinth, and you'll see it as part of our logo and our brand. So with these very special wines we were looking to launch, we decided the best thing would be to uh, bring out a new series, and we call them the Legends of the Labyrinth. And I think you can tell by the names and the stories that this is a, a story that may run and run. Anyway, um, in 2007, with a fine harvest, uh, we decided to look at this having a Cape blend. And a Cape blend means it's not a Bordeaux type or a Rhone type. It specifically has grapes in like Pinotage, which, which mean it can be labeled as a Cape blend. The way we went about this is that we got our own internal people, a winemaker, uh, everybody, myself, the family, everybody looking at what the best blend would be that we could produce with our grapes. And uh, we also took it out to friends, uh, to customers, to restaurants, to bars where people know and like our wine. And we got a very good consensus and pretty much everybody agreed with the same blend. Um, so we were very excited. 2007 we put it into French oak and it was in French oak for 14 months. And the composition is quite interesting. It's Merlot, Cabernet Sauvignon, Petit Verdot, Malbec, Shiraz, and of course Pinotage, as I mentioned before. Um, that's quite a, a mouthful, but it has given us a very rich, complex wine. The wine was released um, about midway through 2009, and it immediately had success. Uh, we got a, a double gold Veritas Award, we got a Gold Michelangelo International Wine Award for it, and it was rated four stars in platters, which is excellent. But I think we should now start looking at tasting the wine and seeing what actually is in this bottle. You'll see, first of all, there's a very rich, deep plum color in the wine. Very, very rich. On the nose, there's mixed red and black fruits, certainly black currant, black cherries even. Very, very rich and vibrant nose. On the palate, mm, again the red fruit black fruit mixed, and also a touch of mint and perhaps even almonds in the aftertaste, and very, very good length and finish in the complexion, which makes the wine very, very approachable. One thing of interest is that it's a 2007 vintage, so it's only three years old, it's only been released for a year, but like many of the Dudoff wines, it has very, very soft but firm tannin structure which really assists in the wine. The wine is drinking very well now and probably will last 12 to 15 years. 
uh, in the bottle. In terms of being a very nice glass of red wine, one of the key things, I think, is to consider it with, with food, food pairing. And this wine lends itself to almost most meat dishes, but particularly good for steak, uh, lamb dishes, um, game, when things with uh, uh, rich sauces, it would do very well. And two particular favorites that we recommend with this, which have been recommended by some chefs in the, um, in the industry, as a herb-crusted uh, roast lamb, which goes very well, and locally from South Africa, um, springbok would be very nice with this wine. So hopefully this is giving you a little insight into what we do at Duloff Wine Estate and um, what we've done with the Minotaur, the first of our legends of the labyrinth, and we're sure you'll have many happy hours with friends and family enjoying it. So cheers from Duloff Wine Estate.